my dear students in the previous video we have solved some problems to finding the absolute maximum and absolute minimum values of a given function on a given interval now in this video we are going to find the extrema of functions that is extremum values of a function using first derivative test if f of x is a given function f of x is a given function it is continuous and uh, defined on an interval a comma b we can find one point at x equal to c in this interval if you move from left to right on the x axis towards x equal to c p first the first derivative of the function f of x is positive f dash of x is 0 up to x equal to c and then f dash of x is negative after x equal to c when we move towards the from left to right f dash of x is positive from a to c and negative from c to b open interval like one endpoint should not be included in the interval so if uh, if the function f of x if, if its first derivative changes its sign from positive to negative or uh, f dash of x is greater than 0 to f dash of x is less than 0 at one point x equal to c that point x equal to c is the maximum point of the function at the interval a comma b so that x equal to c is the point of local maximum and it gives you the maximum value of the function f of x this is the first derivative test for finding the absolute uh, sorry, finding the maximum value of the function Similarly, in the same interval a comma b, if you find a point x equal to c, if you move from left to right along the x-axis, f dash of x is negative from a to c, and f dash of x is positive from c to b. If the f dash of x is changes its sign from negative to positive, that means f dash of x is less than zero from left of c and f dash of x is greater than 0 on right of c. If it is the case, x equal to c is the point of local minimum and f of x has a minimum value at x equal to c. So, this is the method of finding the first, uh, local maximum and local uh, minimum using first derivative test. See, using this test, we are going to solve a problem in the exercise. Find the, find the intervals at which the function is increasing or decreasing and also find the extremum values of the function. Problem is, find the intervals at which the function is increasing or decreasing and also find the extremum value of the function in a given interval. Now f of x is, the given function f of x is, 2x cube plus 3x square minus 12x. This is f of x. Now we have to first derivative this using first derivative. We have to find out f dash of, f dash of x is 3 2 are 6x square plus 3 2 are 6x minus 12. This is f dash of x. Now on equating f dash of x to 0, we can find the intervals of the function x and where the function attains maximum or minimum. If f dash of x equal to 0, 6x square plus 6x minus 12 equal to 0, you can take 6 as common term, x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0, 6 not equal to 0, you have x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0, because 6 not equal to 0. This is x plus 2 into x minus 1. The factors of this is x plus 2 into x minus 1 equal to 0. x square plus 2 minus 1 is plus x minus 2 into plus 2 into 1 minus 1 is minus 2. So factors of x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0 is x plus 2 into x minus 1. Therefore x equal to minus 2 if x plus 2 equal to 0 you get x equal to minus 2. 
or x minus 3 equal to 0 and minus x equal to 1. These are the two points where the function attains its maximum or minimum. They, these two points are called critical points also. On equating a plate of 0, you will get two values of x. Those values are called critical points. Now, the entire rail line can be split into intervals at the critical points. <coughs> you will see. So, the number line minus infinity to plus infinity, minus infinity to plus infinity, the values are the critical points are minus 2 and this is 1. So, 1, 2, 3 intervals you have. One is minus infinity to minus 2 one interval and this is minus 2 to 1 another interval and 1 to infinity is also an interval. After finding the critical points, the entire number real line can be split into three intervals. We have to check it out whether f dash of x is increasing or decreasing in the intervals. First in the interval minus infinity to minus 2 we can find a point x equal to minus 3 at the interval minus infinity to minus 2 say you consider x equal to minus 3 uh, you substitute x equal to minus 3 on f dash of x therefore at x equal to minus 3 f dash of x is f dash of x this 6 into minus 3 square plus 6 into minus 3 minus 12. So this is 6 into minus 3 square is 9. 9 and 9 into 6, 9 6 are 54. Minus 6 3 is 18 and minus 12. This is 54 minus 30. That is 24. Positive. Greater than 0. F dash of x is greater than 0. Therefore, here F dash of x is greater than 0. It is positive check. Therefore, x. F dash of x is greater than 0. Okay, next. Therefore, in this interval, F dash of x is, F of x is increasing. In this interval, F of x is at the interval minus infinity to minus 2, f of x is increasing because f dash of x is positive. Coming to the next interval, minus 2 to 1. In the interval minus 2 to 1, At the interval minus 2 comma 1, we will take x equal to 0, we will consider. Here you can find a point x equal to 0. Here you find x equal to minus 3 and here in the interval minus 2 to 1 I can find x equal to 0. If that of x is 6 into 0 square plus 6 into 0 minus 12, therefore 0, 0 and you get only minus 12 which is less than 0. Therefore in this interval f dash of x is less than 0. Therefore f of x is h minus 2 comma 1 at the interval f of x is decreasing decreasing okay next is the interval 1 comma infinity we have find out the two intervals first interval it is increasing in the next interval minus 2 comma 1 f of x is decreasing next finally at the interval 1 comma infinity If since here f dash of x is negative, in this interval f of x is decreasing. Here the function is increasing. Here the function is decreasing. Next in the interval, 1 comma infinity, say x equal to 
2 and the error we can find a point x equal to 2 f dash of x is 6 into 2 square plus 6 into 2 minus 1. 6 2 square is 4. 4 6 are 24 plus 6 2 are 12 minus 12. Again you get 12 minus 12 0 you will get again positive 24 is positive. So f dash of x is positive in this interval. Therefore here also the function is increasing. Therefore at spin comma infinity f of x is increasing. So from the by the first derivative test, since f of x is changes its sign from positive to negative at x equal to minus 2, therefore x equal to minus 2 is the point of maximum. By first derivative test, by first derivative test, f of x changes its sign from positive to negative from the internal x equal to minus, uh, x equal to minus 2 f of x changes its sign from positive to negative therefore x equal to minus 2 is a point of maximum maximum point therefore x equal to minus 2 is a maximum point the critical point is maximum point. x equal to minus 2 is a critical point and f of x changes is sign from positive to negative therefore x equal to minus 2 is a maximum point. Therefore maximum value if you substitute this minus 2 in from the function you will get the maximum value. Therefore the maximum value of the f of x is maximum value of f of x is equal to 2 into minus 2 q minus 2 is a maximum point therefore you substitute x, uh, minus 2 in f of x f of x 2 into minus 2 q plus 3 into minus 2 square minus 12 into minus 2 8 minus 8 2 are minus 16. 2 cube minus 2 cube is minus 8 into 2 minus 16. 4 3 are 12 plus 12. And to minus into minus plus 12 2 are 24. It is minus 16 plus 36. 24 plus 12 36. 36 minus 16 is 20. So maximum value is 20 at x equal to minus 2. Next, to find out the minimum value at x equal to 1, f of x changes is sign from negative to positive. At x equal to 1, left side of f, left side of 1 is f of x negative and right side of 1 is f of x is positive. So f of x changes is sign from negative to positive at x equal to 1. Therefore, x equal to 1 is a and x equal to 1 is a point of minimum. Substituting x equal to 1 in f of x will get the minimum value. Okay. So x equal to 1 is a minimum point because at x equal to 1 the function f of x changes its sign from positive to uh, sorry, negative to positive. Fresh of x changes from positive, negative to positive, therefore x equal to 1 is a minimum point. f of x is decreasing and to increase, decreasing to increase. So x equal to 1 is a minimum point. To find the minimum value, therefore the minimum value is of f of x. Therefore, minimum value of f of x is 
टू इंटू वन क्यूब प्लस थ्री इंटू वन स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेल्व इंटू वन वन क्यूब इज वन वन इंटू टू टू प्लस थ्री माइनस टू क्यूब इज टू इंटू वन वन क्यूब वन इंटू टू टू वन स्क्वायर वन इंट थ्री 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 प्लस टू फाइव फाइव माइनस ट्वेल्व इज माइनस सेवन फाइव माइनस ट्वेल्व टू प्लस थ्री फाइव माइनस ट्वेल्व इज माइनस सेवन सो मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज माइनस सेवन एंड एक्स इक्वल टू वन सो द आंसर इज मैक्सिमम वैल्यू मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स मैक्सिमम वैल्यू इज ट्वेंटी एट एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस टू आंसर प्रेजेंटेशन मैक्सिमम वैल्यू इज ट्वेंटी एट एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस टू मिनिमम वैल्यू इज माइनस सेवन एट एक्स इक्वल टू वन दस साल को टू नॉट आंसर इज दिस Maximum value is twenty x equal to minus two. Minimum value is minus seven x equal to one. That's all about the problem. Using first derivative test, we have determined the maximum and minimum values of the function, and also we have determined the intervals at which the function is increasing or decreasing. Uh, at, uh, at the intervals minus infinity comma minus two and one comma infinity, function is increasing. We, you can present that answer also. At the intervals, answer is at minus infinity comma minus two, minus infinity comma minus two, and one to infinity. F of x is increasing. At these two intervals, f of x is increasing. At minus two to one, minus two to one, f of x is decreasing. This is also the answer. Increasing where the intervals at which the function is increasing, decreasing, and the maximum minimum values also. That's all about the problem. Okay, and we will we are going to solve one more problem, and. That way we will conclude the video. Now next problem is one more problem using the first derivative test. We will see find the intervals at which the function is increasing or decreasing, and also find the maximum values at the intervals. Where are the points at which the function is increasing or decreasing? And also find the maximum values of the given function. The function given is f of x equal to. Next problem. The function f of x is equal to. Second problem. X by one plus x square. You consider this function. What is f dash of x? F of x is x by one plus x square. The product of x is we have to find out the quotient rule by differentiating it using quotient rule. One plus x square the whole square into b square b one plus x square into derivative of x is one minus u into derivative of x is one is zero x square is two x. Therefore, one plus x square minus two x square in the numerator. The denominator is one plus x square the whole. Square. It is equal to one minus x square by one plus x square the whole square is your f dash of. Now equating f dash of to zero. If f dash of x equal to zero implies one minus x square by one plus x square the whole square. Equal to zero. This implies numerator is zero. One minus x square equal to zero. So 
So x square equal to 1 and x equal to plus or minus 1. If x square equal to 0, 1 minus x square equal to 0, x square is 1 and x equal to this implies x equal to plus or minus 1. I write the x values as plus 1 and minus 1. Therefore, here also the interval is split into minus infinity to minus 1 and 1 to infinity. We have to check correspondingly from at the interval minus infinity to minus 1. We can consider the point minus 2. F, F dash of x is 1 minus x square, 1 minus minus 2 whole square by 1 plus minus 2 whole square the whole square. That is 1 minus 4 minus 1 minus 4. 2 square is plus 4 by 4 plus 1, 5 square. 4 plus 1, 5 square, 25. Minus 3 by 25, which is negative. So in this interval, f dash of x is negative. Therefore, the function is decreasing. Next, f of x is decrease, f dash of x is negative, f of x is decreasing, f of x is decreasing at minus infinity minus 1. Next, at the interval, minus 1 comma 1, say x equal to 0, f dash of x is 1 minus 0 by 1 plus 0. 1 minus 0 by 1 plus 0 whole square. That is 1 by 1. It is positive. Therefore, f of x is increasing. f of x is increasing at minus 1 comma 1. Here, f of f dash of x is positive. Function is increasing. Like that, the final interval 1 comma infinity, you can find say x equal to 2. Now at the interval 1 comma infinity, at the interval 1 comma infinity, say x equal to 2, f dash of x is 1 minus 2 square by 1 plus 2 square the whole square that is also 1 minus 4 by 5 square which is also negative therefore f dash of x is negative f of x is decreasing in the interval 1 comma infinity therefore f of x is decreasing f of x is decreasing in the interval 1 comma infinity. So, f dash of x changes its sign from negative to positive across x equal to minus 1. Therefore, x equal to minus 1 is a minimum point. x equal to minus 1 is a minimum point. By first derivative test, f dash of x changes its sign from negative to positive across x equal to minus 1. Therefore, x equal to minus 1 is a minimum point. Therefore, minimum value is minimum value of f of x is f of x equal to f of x is x by f of x is you know f of x is x by 1 plus x square given f of x is x by 1 plus x square you know. therefore f of x is the x is minus 1 by 1 plus x square is minus 1 square that is equal to minus 1 by 1, 1 plus 1 2 1 plus 1 2 minus 1 by 2 
minimum value is minus 1 by 2. Similarly, f dash of x changes its sign from positive to negative across 1. x equal to 1, the, the f dash of x changes its sign from positive to negative, greater than to less than. Therefore, x equal to 1 is a maximum point. To get the maximum value, we will substitute 1 and x f of x. So, x equal to 1 is a maximum point. x equal to 1 is a maximum point. Therefore, the maximum value is f of x equal to x1 by 1 plus x square is 1 square, that is 1 by 2. So, minimum value is minus 1 by 2, maximum value is 1 by 2. That's all about the problem. See, minimum value is minus 1 by 2 at x equal to minus 1. Maximum value is 1 by 2 at x equal to 1. That's all about the problem. And I will stop the video here. We will continue the remaining problems in the next video. Thank you.